Disturbing reports this morning that a number of teachers have been attacked in Perth classrooms this year. In one instance, a primary school principal in Rockingham had to take extended leave after she was punched in the face by a parent and another adult. Then two weeks later, an Armadale principal was allegedly shoved against a wall by a parent. Joining me now from the WA Primary Principals Association is Stephen Breen. Good morning to you, Stephen. Good morning, Tracy. These assaults are very concerning. Can you tell us a little bit more about them? Well, they're very concerning not only for the individual but also for the, the whole school. We've got uh, you know, hundreds of children here uh, witnessing some of these uh, incidents. However, uh, they're not isolated. Uh, across Australia, um, primary principals are seven times more likely to be physically uh, attacked seven times more likely than the uh, general public. So it is a, a concern for all schools and for individuals in the system. Why do you think these kinds of attacks are increasing? Well, if you look out in the community, uh, there's the general perception, and I haven't got the research here, that they are increasing in the community. Schools are part of the community. So therefore, we have them increasing in schools. Why? Um, I don't know. Uh, we seem to be a very angry state and a very angry nation. Uh, a lot of people uh, don't like to be said no to or don't like to follow some rules. So mm. it is of concern, but um, we need to look at it very, very closely. Yeah, absolutely. Do principals um, in certain WA schools feel safe? What are they telling you? Well, it's it basically not actually just, um, you know, certain schools, it's all schools. And here we're talking about all the different um, sectors, the, the government sector, the uh, independent sector and the Catholic sector. Um, it's across the board and it's across Australia. What they're saying is that a number of community members and parents get very, very angry, not with the children, but actually against a, a, a person in authority saying, well, we've got some rules here and we have to abide by those rules. So it is a concern that a lot of people uh, don't understand that if you've got 200, 300 or even 1,000 children, there are some rules and there's some regulations that we have to abide by. Many of the regulations are actually set by the employer. Mm. Do you think there will be a day when we will need security guards at schools and what else should happen to try and protect teachers and principals? Well, if we have to have security guards, then we've got a very, very sad society. Uh, we don't want to be like other countries. Uh, what needs to happen? Well, it needs to be a society look at this. We need to actually have governments look at it, departments look at it, we need to have the police look at it, and we need to have society, the community, actually look at it. A lot of parents have to actually say, this is not acceptable at our school, and we don't want that to happen. So it has to be an all-round attack on um, this, uh, this scourge that is actually uh, causing real problems in our society. Stephen Breen, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thanks, Tracy.